All right, good morning everybody. How y'all doing today? It is Friday. It is Cinco de Drinko. Um, so I hope y'all are, you know, if y'all go out, y'all be safe tonight, man. Uh, you know, don't, uh, don't get fucked up over a holiday, you know, and ruin your life over it. So, uh oh, I think they're, uh, I'm at the yard again. Uh, I think it's break time. Way to get my truck in. So anytime you come to the yard, we got to run it through inspection. Even though I was here two days ago, I still got to run it through inspection. All I did was drive from here to Texas and back. And they're like, oh, go inspect your truck. Oh, fuck. Ain't nothing happened. But whatever, man. It's their shit. So it is cold as hell today. Um, it's like 55 and windy. So that's cold to us down here. Up north, y'all are like, oh shit, man, let me get uh, 10 pounds of carne asada. <laughs> so, but uh, shit, I'd cook carne asada today too, man. Shit, I don't give a shit. I'll fucking go out there, flip that shit, fucking go back inside. <laughs> Come back in 10 minutes, fucking flip that shit, go back inside. Fuck, yeah, shit, I don't give a fuck. I fucking, I've grilled in the winter, man. Fucking four feet of snow, man. I fucking pulled that bitch right up to the back door. Flipped them fucking steaks, man. Fucking got that shit going. Uh, but, uh... Good old Cinco de Drinko, man. Shit, every day is like a Mexican holiday for me. That's all I eat fucking tacos, man. <laughs> I eat breakfast tacos, and on my birthday... I'll have my mom make me a big ass uh, pan of enchiladas with Puerto Rican rice, and uh, every year, man, that's just how it is. Enchiladas and rice, enchiladas and rice. That's what I like. But uh, I like my dosakis. I can't do tequila, man. I don't know. The three times that I did tequila, bad shit has happened, man. On my 25th birthday. They, you know, people took me out. I ended up, we were drinking whiskey all night, man. And then all of a sudden, man, like some Patron went down my throat. Dude, instant asshole, man. Just instant asshole. I ended up blowing up on Jessica. Made her cry. I was the asshole of the day. And all that poor girl tried to do was make sure I had a fun birthday. Totally disrespected her. That sucked. That was a long time ago. I'm sorry. I'm still sorry about it. But, uh, the second time I drank tequila, nothing bad happened, but I magically lost my keys. They just magically disappeared. Just, we were in Wiz's garage. We had some Patron and Sprite, I think it was. It tasted great. It was good. I actually enjoyed drinking the shit. We went to leave. It was Halloween. So we were going to go to the bar for the Halloween party. Don't know where my keys were. I, I don't. I had them. I drove my Durango over the whizzes. We partied. Some chick dressed like Lady Gaga showed up, and then my keys were gone after that. So it was a big old joke that uh, my keys magically made it into Lady Gaga's bunghole. <laughs> and then the third time I drank tequila, man, I don't even remember what happened, but I remember something bad happened just it wasn't anything like me blowing up on somebody angry just what was it what the fuck happened i don't even know man but so i don't drink tequila but i'll drink uh dos Equis and modelo and tecate and corona definitely dos Equis, man if i can get dos Equis in a can we're good to go I mean, I'll drink it in the bottle, I'll drink a draft, I don't give a shit. If I can get that bitch in a can, put that shit in my koozie. But, I haven't been drinking a lot lately, man, at all. Like, I went home for the whole week, I didn't even drink. The last time I drank was for Jared and Jessica's wedding back in February. It was the last time I drank. I don't know, ain't a big deal to me. Getting drunk ain't like, oh my god, we need to go get drunk. Nah, man. 
but I mean drinking's actually boring. Uh and if I do were to do it now, I don't even think I'd sit I'd probably have a beer or two and focus on Jameson's. But even then, as a CDL driver, a a Dewey ends my whole career. So I, I can't be fucking around like that. Uh I can't be losing jobs over stupid ass shit, you know what I mean? And on top of that, man, I tend to get a little boozed up and then I get a little crazy on Wanda. So like burnouts and shit and so I nah. choose to stay away from the booze, man. And on top of that, you know, like I said, I got that type two diabetes, man, and all that shit'll spike my shit out. You could have a couple drinks, you know, you could be social and shit. But to sit around and get smashed out, man, it just isn't it doesn't mean anymore, man. That whole party boy scene got me nothing. That party boy scene got me single. Or has, excuse me, has kept me single. So, so it's not a big deal, man. But I would like to have a couple beers today and smash some fucking tacos. Just because. It's not because it's Cinco de Mayo. It's because it's fucking Friday. <laughs> today ends in Y, so it's any day. Any day that ends in Y is a good day to eat tacos. Speaking of which, I'm fucking starving, man. So, I got some, uh, look at my wild hair. <laughs> uh, I didn't cook breakfast, man, because I woke up and wanted to get through this inspection lane, man. So, I woke up, did my morning thing, and I got some microwave food, man. I'll eat that shit when I get over to the thing. I got my load. I'm heading to Albany, New York, but it all depends on when the hell they get me out of here. So, but I did get on top of some things today I got the uh, quote of the day word of the day so we're gonna go ahead and start with the word of the day the word of the day is exultant and that means triumphantly happy you gotta be happy don't worry be happy be happy man Find the light in the darkness, man. Find the light of darkness and be fucking happy. Be happy. It can be a lot worse. No matter what situation you are in right now, it can always be worse. It can always be worse. Look at my situation. Yeah, I'm a truck driver and I want to get out of it, but I could be not having a job like I was in 2014. You know what I mean? Depressed, can't even get out of fucking bed. So, I mean, at least I have a job. At least I'm alive. I woke up this morning. That made me happy right then and there. I was like, oh, I woke up. Yay. So, you know, whatever situation you're in, be happy, man. Because it could be worse. Even though it might seem like it could suck, make the best out of it. Ah, oh, yeah. I mean... You know, you got to do what you got to do and make the best out of it, out of anything, man. And like I said, man, it always works itself through, man. That's why y'all need to learn to chill. A situation might seem hectic or crazy or whatever, man, but a, a solution will always provide itself, man. So, so yeah, be happy, triumphantly happy, smile, it's contagious. You know how many people I smile at on a day? If I had a dollar for everybody I smiled at and got them to smile back at me, dude, I wouldn't have to truck drive anymore, man. I'd be rich as hell. Like, dude, I smile at people just to get people to smile at me, man. And a lot of that stems off of an article I read about suicide, dude. Like, most people that's attempted suicide or had committed suicide stated in their letter that nobody even smiled at them that day. So that smile that you're smiling at someone that you don't know some random stranger could save their life. You could have saved someone's soul. So why not, man? I mean, I mean, how hard is it to do that? Hi, you know, just smile at him. You know, get to give him the old high nod. Hi, and then keep on going about your fucking business, man. How hard is that? Everyone, so I'm fucking pissed off, so I gotta look fucking mad. But I'm no reason 
to be pissed off, so I'm just gonna look mad anyways. Fuck that. Shit. Take it from me, man. I was the maddest mother I was the maddest motherfucker on the earth, man. I was mad rapping every day, boy. For what? I had nothing to be mad about. So be happy. Be happy. Cause I'm happy. Hi, you're gonna have that song stuck in your head now. Everybody's going to have that damn, uh, who was that? Oh, what was his name? Oh, well, piss on him. He's happy. <laughs> He's a happy dude. The quote of the day is a good one from a good dude. The greatness of a man is not in how much wealth he acquires, but in his integrity and his ability to to affect those around him positively. Bob motherfucking Marley. Bob Marley. If you look up Bob Marley quotes, dude, he's got a billion of them. Bob Marley was smart as fuck. That dude is insane. Like, the shit he says is just massively inspiring, and it's crazy. Just... All of his quotes are the shit, man. Like, it's sad that dude's not around, man. And I listen to Stephen Marley a lot. You know, I like some. I like a lot of Stephen Marley songs, and he sounds just like his old man. It's crazy. But um, Ziggy and Damon and all them dudes are cool. But uh, Bob is just ridiculously smart, man. And you know, it's funny. Because there's so much good reggae out there, and all people ever focus on is Bob Marley, man. And I, dude, I put people on to fucking all kinds of different reggae that they had no idea existed, dude, that smokes Bob Marley, man. Like, I mean, Bob was good, but there's way better reggae out there than Bob Marley. Bob was cool, man, because people attracted to him, man. He had that. He just had that personality that people attracted to, man. You know, you get these people that people just magically float to. I guess kind of like me, man. People float to me like crazy, and I don't I don't even know what to do with it. Bob obviously knew what the hell to do with it, and he knew to come out with quotes and this shit and that shit. But, um... This guy here at work told me, man... He was like, what's the point of talking to someone, talking to someone, man, is if you can't have them feel impressed when the conversation is over. And that really stuck with me, man. I talk to this dude every time I see him. If I see him on the road, I bullshit with him. If I, dude, I mean, I'm forever looking for this dude. He's the one who taught me the formula. So I really have learned a lot from this dude, man, and it's craziness. But it makes sense, man. What's the point of even talking to people, man, if you can't leave them inspired or impressed or spiritually lifted you know what I mean now you're just shooting the shit and that's why I research shit and try to know as much as possible man not to be a fucking know-it-all but to try to inspire folks man and you know always have something to talk about I think knowledge is sexy man to know shit man you know being dumb is not cool <laughs> fuck that fucking mouth breather and it's, it's not, man. Try to leave people impressed, man. Try to leave people inspired, man. When they when you leave the room, people are like, damn, man, you know, that dude, you know, or that chick. Cause there's chicks that watch, too. It's sad. I wish I was on. I wish I had this mindset, you know, back in school, man, or back even in junior high, dude. I'd probably be a whole different person, but better late than never. So, uh, they're about to bring my truck in. So I'm going to chuck y'all the deuces, man, and get on this here road, so, later. Alright, man, as you see here, I got it going on, boy, I'm stuffing myself today. That stuff right there is amazing, 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 and so far so good with that, some chicken enchiladas, man, two taco deal with the chips, talk about good, <laughs> y'all be good, have a good day, my own. Later. Oh, that's a uh, that's unsweet to you. I can't drink. I have to drive. So, later, later. all right, man. As y'all as y'all see, man, I got to smash this Mexican food. Did my part as a Puerto Rican for my Mexican peoples. And uh, 
Oh, is that there? Let's see if we can get it. At Monarcas Mexican restaurant, Troy, man. They had some bomb ass fucking salsa, man. I ate two bowls of that shit, man. I was smashing that shit down. I wanted to eat that shit with a spoon. It was so goddamn good. But uh the only thing that sucks about coming to Troy, man, is we don't have vehicles, man. Like so now I gotta walk back, which it's only a little under a mile, but walk off all that damn food I just ate. I think I'm gonna walk over to the CBS uh, CBS. CBS broadcasting. Uh the CVS. And see if they got like a selfie stick or something, man. I need one of these. Holding this shit up by my hand sucks. So we'll see what's really hood with a selfie stick, man. But uh Y'all be good, y'all be safe, man. It's another boring ass day in Troy, man. Coming to the yard sucks. They decided they wanted to fix my window after two months of it being cracked. So what a great day to do that. Thanks guys. Um so yeah. That's what I got going on. Y'all be good. Peace, love, dope. <laughs> All right, good morning, everybody. It's now Saturday morning. I'm sorry I didn't get a video out to y'all yesterday, man. They had me sitting here all day, man. They ended up replacing my windshield, and then all of a sudden, my uh, uh, fuel pump for my APU took a shit. So, uh... I waited all day. I didn't get my truck back last night till about 10 o'clock at night, man. I turned it in at 9 in the morning, so I was uncomfortable as hell. They let me slide into my truck, man. I found it. And they let me slide in so I could put my PJs on, get my get my flip-flops on, man, and kick it. So, but they had my shit all day. And they still left the screw in the tire. I got a screw in the tire, so I feel that may be a problem. So... You know, I, I don't know, man. I mean, it is what it is. The shop used to suck, man. And then they let go of the, the guy who was running the shop. And they got a new guy in there, man. And it, it is better. Um, so I can't trip about what's really going on, man. Because it is, it is, they're working on it, man. They're trying to unfuck what the guy did. And it sucks because the guy was a really nice guy, but he's lazy as fuck what it was so you know you know when you're in that service rider position man you got to be a leader man you gotta you know you gotta do it so but we're good to go we're on our way to albany new york uh i'll cancel this off real quick i won't speak too long i'll get the video from yesterday posted on for secret day drinko even though i didn't drinko but I did eat oh some uh, Mexicano, which is nothing, man. I eat Mexican food all the time, man. Shit, I might as well be Mexican, man. Hell, I was born in El Paso. I was like that close to being Mexican, you know what I'm saying? So, shit. Be the Mexican. But, uh, <laughs> anyways, man. So, we're on our way to New York. Fucking New York, huh? Yeah, I'm going to fucking New York. Uh, so yeah, man, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and psh, this right here, and then uh, we're looking for my trailer, man. We're gonna go grab this load, get on the road, and I'll have new shit for y'all, man, and new subject matter and whatever, man. So y'all getting double video today? What a treat! But uh, all right, love, peace, and grace.